So I've been towing this thing with that Tundra back there in the back and I needed an upgrade. I've put sway bars on, but by the time you put side by sides and all your junk in the back, I just needed a little bit more control in some of the curves and I asked around and people said airbags were the way to go. So this is a video of me showing you the system that I put in my vehicle and it's not the sweetest, but it works really well. And if you're bored, I guess, take a look. Here's what the airbags look like after they're installed. You can see that they've just been bolted right here onto the leaf springs. And you'll notice that um, that little red line up there is the airline taken off. It goes back up to the cab and there's a T right there where the two lines join. And I'll show you what that looks like on the inside of the other one too. So you can see how it just comes down and there's a little fitting right there. And that is just where it plugs in. Those are little heat shield covers you uh, put on the line so that in case it ends up by anything hot that it isn't going to you know, mess with your line or melt it or anything. So all you have to do is hook those two together and then you can fill them up with the compressor. Um, under the truck so it's probably a little bit difficult but you can also see how there's just a little mound that they push right up onto and hopefully that gives you a good idea so that if you're gonna buy some and bolt them on it's really not that tricky put it over on that side so you can maybe see it a little bit there too so these are just bolt-on ones and uh, nothing real tricky about them just get them bolt set in place and bolted on and then this bracket right here on the bottom just makes it so that um, uh, it pushes on the axle, kind of like helps bottom it out a little bit. And right now they're not fully deflated. I don't leave them deflated all the time. Anyways, hopefully that gives you a good view of how the system looks and how it works underneath of a vehicle. And here's kind of a top side view, just to give you an idea. You can see that it's not bolted on up here on the top or anything. It just sits there in those little mounds that you saw in the video underneath just kind of help keep it centered but really it's just bolted to the springs and it just pushes down when it comes to towing this is probably the sweetest setup to have that four pin and the what is that one two three four six the seven pin setup it comes standard on a toyota tundra i don't know what year they started putting them on but it sure makes a big difference so when you pull up, you can just tow basically anything that you want. And it's even got this nice little schematic on here. So if you have to do a little bit of testing, make sure everything's working okay. This is where I store the system. That little T underneath the truck, where it teed off to both the airbags, it comes up through to this particular shutoff valve. This is just quarter inch quick disconnect. So you can, you know, Fill this up with air and lock it, and you don't have to leave the system hooked up to it if you don't want to. This is what the system looks like. So, there's your air valve fitting, and I had to buy this little quarter inch uh, to NPT attachment so I could bolt those together, and that way I could fill up any tire that I wanted. And then, of course, I can shut that off so it doesn't allow any air out that. And then I just have screwed this to a board, installed a T here and a T here. And you can see here's the controls. So when you want to add air to the system, of course you have it plugged in, push the button and this is how you let air out. Really not tricky. <clears throat> just looks like there's extra hoses, but it comes out of here, twirls back around and plugs into that T because you don't want any sharp bends. And then this line is what plugs into the seat so the line coming right off of the the airbags connected to the tires this plugs into a valve so I can shut that valve off open this valve up hold my hand on this button and start adding air to tires now when you look at the socket over here I just had this extra one this is just some standard plain Jane you know outlet I think it has a fuse in here if I unscrew it and you just plug it into 12 volts and 
and let it rip so it's a good solution so that you can pull the system out and work on it if you need to and it seems to work really well for tires now it's not a high airflow pump i'll show you that in a minute it's just good for you know pumping up tires and things that need a lot of pressure so it'll do things that need pressure not necessarily like a big air mattress that would take forever and it'd probably start to heat up okay so now you can see that i've come up through the floor and this line that runs around in a circle comes to this valve and it just plugs right into that uh, that spare line there probably have to two hand that to push it the rest of the way on but that allows me to put air into my system and then this board i've just cut a notch into it just so it can't go anywhere when i'm breaking and you can see it really it's just locked in just by i'm actually pushing on it but because of the angle of the board it can't move further than that and then all we got to do is plug this in now you might want to hardwire yours but i happen to have a socket right here so i'm just going to plug it in and now you can see we're live if i had turned my truck on because <laughs> that's not a full-time socket Okay, now you can see that we're live, and this is where you let the air out of the system. I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can see it pumps up pretty quick. And that's just because this valve's off, and so is the valve to the airbag. So I'll go ahead and open that valve, leave this one closed for tire filling, and then show you how long it takes to add some PSI to the system. So you can see it slowly start to climb there. And then of course you can just, you know, let the air back out of the system. So it's a pretty good working set setup. And then of course, um, I do think I wanna make one improvement and change this over to the kind of hub that locks on. Because right now I can reach my tires, but the challenge is um, I have to pull the block out and luckily I made the electrical cord long enough I can reach all the tires but I have to push this button while um, I'm pushing that on or I gotta have somebody with me and you know when things go wrong half the time you're never in the perfect scenario so it's best to set yourself up in the best way shape and form anyways it's a pretty good little working system hopefully that uh, will give you some ideas on some things you can do and surely you can make it a little bit cleaner than my ugly board Probably the ugliest setup I've made so far, but the most utilitarian type of setup I've made so far. I don't know if I can use that word. Let's say utility. Anyways, thanks for watching.